What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be doing Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose 3 Max Power, right? So this is like this new sort of form that was in, I think it's Heroes, Dragon Ball Heroes. So it's Super Saiyan 3, pink hair and eyebrows. He has eyebrows, which is crazy. I, I never noticed until I went, like, when, uh, like I watched the episode and everything, but I never noticed he actually had eyebrows. Crazy. Um, right. Uh, so, I'm on landscape orientation paper, use a pencil and eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand, right? So, we we'll start with that W shape in the middle of Dragon Ball characters' foreheads. So you just do like this sort of frowning W shape, right? It can be round, it can be square whatever you want, sort of like this, okay? And the eyebrows come out from there. That's right, he has eyebrows. So this goes around and sort of curves down like that. And then we do a big fat end, like so. And then this curves down and gets like thin on the end, right? Hey, same thing on the other side, right? So basically, same thing anyway. So it goes this way. It's always harder when you're right-handed to go this way, I think. Yeah. Like that. And then, fat end. And then we curve it down. So he does have like, a bit of mask or something up here. So, you know, it doesn't have, to, I think, does it cover some of his eyebrow? No, I think he can see the whole eyebrow. So we'll just curve this down. And then bring it down into here, right? So I made that line, I, I sketched it down a bit too much. I'm just gonna lighten, make it thinner. That would annoy me, it might annoy everyone, but it annoys me. Sharpies put down a lot of ink, you know? Right, so roughly speaking like that, they don't have to be exactly the same on both sides, you know, like if you if you look at the anime and look real close, they're not like perfectly symmetrical eyebrows, like, so don't worry too much if they're a little bit different on both sides. So then his eyes, typical Dragon Ball square eyes, so we do like a long line there and then a long line here and then you just join these together. Right, like so. I think he has like pink around the edges, like a color pink. So same thing here. And then around like so. So when you're coloring, he seems to have an extra like pink area or something around his eyes. I can't confirm that because it's kind of hard to see, but I think it's in there. Um, I'll color it anyway, after. Right, so his eyes, so you just do sort of a half circle underneath the eyebrow, just there. Same thing on this side, half circle, like so. And then we have sort of a frown line here, and a bit of one here, because we have some of this mask, right? You can't see it all. So his nose, just trying to see what's going on here. So we go down, kind of over to the right a little bit, and then we'll bring it across like an L, and then sort of up the side for his nostril, just there. And then we actually draw in the shadow on the side. Like so. Now his mouth is right underneath his nose, right? It actually some of his mouth line is like underneath his nose, right? So he's kind of smirking and it comes out both sides. So like one line comes out here and another line sort of out this way, kind of shorter on this side. And then we open up his mouth. So we like add some lines down here for the open part of his mouth. Back up there and he might have like a smiley line. Like so, and maybe something here as well. And then usually there's like hatching or like a shadow just on the bottom of his chin. 
So then cheek lines like so. Can't really see them on the other side because of the mask. You might be able to see like a little bit, but we'll do the mask first and then we'll add those. So there's chin, it's real square down here. Right, so like in terms of proportion, like I would say eyebrow to nose, or like to mouth maybe, is about the same as nose to chin. So your nose is about halfway, like the bottom line for his nose here. is about halfway between the eyebrow, top of the eyebrows, and the chin, okay? So that's roughly where you want your proportions to be. So then his jaw, up that way, and then this side as well. And you're stopping about mouth level, right? So you, like you're stopping just about mouth level. And then it turns, right? Go, we'll go up a little bit on this side because of the mask. But we'll go up nearly the whole way on this side. So we'll do this mask now, right? So kind of here, right? Kind of sticks out across his face, onto his cheek, and then we'll bring it back in around underneath his eye. So it's all cracked and stuff, so like, don't worry if it's not exactly like mine. I mean, it doesn't have to be. It goes around his eyebrow, maybe cuts off the top of it a little bit there, and then it comes down this way. So across, it actually goes over that frown line that we drew, so you can cut her over that. And then that comes up, across up to here. And then we sort of bring it down the side of his face. So there's all like cracks and and stuff like um, sort of these cracked kind of lines here. Like so. Right, so he, he appears to have this like red line or something like a there's like a design on this, just here. Like so, and it has, I think it goes this way. Like so. And we can add just some more cracks and things. Okay, roughly like that. Okay, and then maybe we can see some that cheek mark or something just underneath there, and we'll add a frown. So we can see an ear this side, but this one's under hair. So we'll do it like his fringe line. So his fringe comes out from just the middle of his head here, out around, down, like a hair spike, kind of like this. And then his hairline goes this way, and the other side will go that way. And there'll be hair underneath there. And then this spike will come back up around. Like so. Like that, right? And then we can see one ear underneath this. Dragon Ball ears are always bigger than you would think. So just bear that in mind. And then you can see some bones and ligaments on the inside. That and then something else, another ear on this side. Down, round, just to like the bottom of the mask here. And then bones and ligaments, right? So like the, I always say the easiest way to kind of do this is this sort of letter J kind of thing. Yeah, it's kind of different in every anime, but it just, Good way to start it, and then you can add more detail around it if you want. Okay, so Super Saiyan 3 hair basically, right? So there's no kind of easy way to do it. Kind of got to just 
So I guess we got to draw his neck first because it's sort of his hair goes in behind his neck. So we'll do his body and then we'll do his hair. It's kind of a different way of doing this, but right, so big, strong neck like that. And then his trapezius comes out that way. So he's got like, yeah, he's nearly like broly big. So real wide shoulders, okay. So his neck muscles come down and the middle, these neck muscles always go down towards the center of his chest. So the center of his chest is like there. Right, and then your chest muscles will come out down really big. See how wide they're like out head width his chest muscles. They're like very big. And the bottom comes across. Like that, so these big square chest muscles, right? And then there might be some chest muscle lines just coming across here. Like so, and then his shoulders start to come out from here, right? So another big line here, same on this side, like so, and then shoulder muscle, one, two, and then goes around really big, like that, so really big, right? And then bicep sort of comes down this way like that and you could have like so you like you've three muscles in your shoulder i think deltoids anyway three surface muscles one two three right and then the tricep comes out here and comes down like so right and then his bicep on the inside his inner arm so it goes that way and then we can see the side of his body and then there's another arm line, like there. And we do this over here. So, so that's the trapezius. So then this will go like that, kind of like that muscle. And then this will go down, like so. And then the bicep. from here Something like that so that's this line again and then tricep and then another sort of arm line there so then again same thing sort of side of his body or bicep sort of here it's kind of like his armpits so they kind of join together do you know and then those break up the shoulder into like three sections. Mm -hmm. I think there's some hatching on his trapezius. No nipples drawn in. Hmm. Should he have nipples? No. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to see. Hmm. Okay, can't see any. All right. I'll leave it. Right, so then um, abs, so like ab line coming down the middle and then sort of at this big diaphragm. It's interesting the way they do different characters, ab muscles different. Like that, and then like the line coming down here, there, across like so, something there. Easiest there. Oh yeah, and there's like another neck muscle there, and maybe like an Adam's apple sort of thing going on. Like so, so crazy big body, right? Now his hair. So we'll do the fringe lines, and then we'll do all the stuff that comes down the back. Okay. So coming out from the mask here, we'll go up and then down like that, right? 
right? And then a big spiking one here. So this is just like the first row, right? And then we go down. This way. That way. And then we start to go down behind his body down here. Right, another one over this side. That. And then down behind his body there. So then we have like a layer that goes all the way down behind, right? So it starts with this sort of big one here. Like that, and there's like a little one in behind that one. And then one in behind these two. Another one here. And then we start to go behind his shoulders and stuff. Because it goes all the way down to his feet, as far as I know. And this one comes down like there, and then that way. Where's the one? Yeah, and then we go over here. So one goes up, down. The one here. And then we'll go this way, back down. Okay, and then he needs texture all over his hair, right? So the Dragon Ball hair texture, you just kind of follow in the shape of each one, right? You're just uh, sort of adding lines like this. And once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. Um, right, I think that's everything, that's how to draw Goku Black, Super Saiyan Rose 3 Max Power. Hope it's helpful, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.